Hi 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 welcome to Koreo in this episode of problem solving in hacker rank we'll be solving a question called apples and oranges so let me first explain the scenario that is involved in this question and uh, we later try to solve this question okay first uh, you are given the coordinates of your house okay so uh, consider a number line or the x axis of a graph so what they have given is they have given two values s and t and that represents the starting and ending point of your house okay so uh, you have uh, like just imagine it in 2d so you are given just an x axis and they have given two coordinates s and t that represent the starting and ending point of your house okay now your house is surrounded by trees on either side okay so to the left of your house there is a apple tree and to the right of your house there is an orange tree okay there are two uh, trees surrounding your house and one is orange and the other is apple and they are on either sides of your house so uh, the next line of input or the other input that they are giving is the coordinates of these trees so they are giving values like a and b a is the coordinate of the apple tree and b is the coordinate of the orange tree okay so uh, so far we have uh, four coordinates the boundary of your house that is the s value and the t value the starting point and the ending point of your house the position of apple tree the position of orange tree now what they are telling you is that the fruits that fall from these trees right these fruits fall into the uh, uh, ending or uh, the range of your house okay so the fruits that fall from the apple tree and the orange tree they might fall in your houses area right so you will have to calculate and print the uh, number of fruits that fall into your house so the number of oranges and the number of apples that fall into your house you have to calculate that and print it so that is the question and for that what they are giving is they are giving the number of apples that fall and the distance it falls from the apple tree similarly the number of oranges that fall and the distance at which it falls from the orange tree so these are given and you will have to calculate the exact position at which these fruits fall with these values so uh, let us say the apple tree is at fifth position or some unit 5 okay and one apple that falls uh, at two units from the apple tree so the position that this apple falls will be 5 plus 2 because 5 is the position of the apple tree and it falls uh two units away from the apple tree right so it will be at seventh position and you'll just have to check if seven is within the range s and t and that will uh, that will tell you that if you have to count this particular apple or not okay and uh, these apples or oranges the values that they have right the distances it can be positive and negative okay negative distance just means that the apple or orange is to the left of the tree and a positive value means that the fruit is in the right side of the tree it falls in the right side of the tree okay we'll have to have that in mind as well so the apples that fall to the left of the tree we don't have to consider them because the uh, the house right the house is in uh, to the right of the tree so any fruit that falls to the uh, or any apple that falls to the left will definitely not come to our house so you can just ignore that and for oranges Uh, any orange that falls to the right of the tree will not come to the house because the house is to the left of orange tree so you'll have to have that in mind as well now uh, i hope you understood everything uh, you are going to calculate the position of the fruit that is going to fall uh, with the help of the position of the tree and the distance that is given and you'll have to check if it is in the range of your house and if yes you just have to count it so that is the problem now we will try to program this and uh, solve this question so as i already said the input format is this the first line has the s and t value that is the starting and ending point of your house the second line has a and b values that is the position of the trees the third line has m and n value okay m is just the number of apples that are going to fall and n is the number of oranges that is going to fall and uh, the array itself is uh, having the distance that the fruit falls from the tree so the m uh, the apple array will have the distances of each apple uh, that falls 
at that distance from the tree okay and uh, with that you are going to calculate the position now since it has a lot of input i just uh, have the code to get input i'll just explain it and we'll go on to the implementation okay so the first line uh, we have s and t so i've declared the variables s and t and i've got input of them and second line we are getting the values of a and b right the position of the trees so i've declared a and b and got input as well and the next line you are having m and n so first we will get the values of m and n and since we know uh, in the uh, further lines we are going to get an array of size m and size n you are declaring an array of size m that is apple and uh, array of size n that is orange okay so these are the two arrays that you have declared and we have to get input for them as well so we have a couple of for loops to get the input for the apple array and the orange array so this is all the that uh, this is all the input that we are getting and right after that i have declared a couple of variables one is apple count and another is orange count like app count and or count okay so these are going to be the answers that we need so how exactly are we going to do them as i already said we are just going to find the position at which the fruit is going to fall so first let us calculate the position for apple okay for int i equals 0 i less than m i plus plus because we have m number of apples right so we'll first have to calculate the position so position is equal to a plus apple of i okay so why is this a is the position of the tree and apple of i is the distance at which it the apple falls okay from the tree so adding these two will give the exact position at which the fruit is going to fall so that is the position and we just have to check if this position is a valid position or that this apple is in fact is going to fall in the area of the house so how do we do that it is going to be in the range of s and t so position's value should be greater than or equal to s and position's value should be less than or equal to t okay so uh, it is going to be in that range uh, it can be greater than or equal to s or less than or equal to t that means that this position value is in fact in that range s and t so in that case you are just going to increment the value of app count okay because this apple is going to fall in the houses area so we are incrementing the value of app count and we are going to repeat the same thing for orange as well okay so instead of m you are going to use n because there are n oranges and for calculating the position we are just going to use b plus orange of i okay so b is the position of orange tree and orange of i is the distance at which, at which each orange is going to uh, fall and the position is uh, I, like it remains the same because it it should also be in s to t range it should be greater than or equal to s and less than or equal to 2 uh, equal to t and if the condition is satisfied you have to go uh, increase the uh, orange count right so that is all the processing that we are going to do and now we can just print the answer app count ndl and orange count okay i'm using ndl instead of space because they want me to use it so the answer should be in uh, two lines okay so i think that is all uh, this program is required now i'll just uh, paste it in hackerang and see if it works oh here we have the code and uh, compilation error so instead of c out i have uh, typed c out okay so the sample test case has been passed and now i'm going to submit it and all the test cases has been passed so hope you understood this logic it is quite simple but you have to understand the question very clearly you are going to calculate the position at which the fruit falls with the position of the tree and the distance at which it falls from the tree and you have to see if it lands in the area of your house okay that is all now we'll move on to the try it out part of this video the try it out question for this video is what is the time complexity of the implementation that we just did so let us know your answers in the comment section below and uh, if you have any further questions let them know in the comments as well and if you like the video please like the video and for more videos like this consider subscribing to codeio thank you so much for watching see you in the next video bye